Hey YouTubers, it's Nicole, and it has been a long time since I've done a video. Um, as many of you know, I'm in the process of moving, and so that's why I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube. Um, we closed on the house two weeks ago, and now we're in that kind of craziness of um, painting and doing some slight renovations and packing and moving and getting our old house ready to sell. And um, if any of you have done that before, you know how, how chaotic that gets. Um, so that's what I'm in the middle of now. However, I did get um, a about a four-day break, um, which actually t was timed perfectly because we're waiting on some people to get to move forward with our next um, projects that we need to do. And I met up with my um, my best friend to do our little scrapbooking get together. Um, the timing worked out perfect for me, but also for her because she's just about ready to go back to school. She's a teacher. And so we just decided that even though in the midst of this chaos that we were going to get together and we were going to scrapbook and spend time together. And so I have a few layouts to show you. Um, I basically, this is like the easiest packing I've ever done for a crop because most of my room is packed. Um, <clears throat> because I had so many manufacturer's kits bagged up, I literally just grabbed like maybe 10 of them. I like to have some variety. Um, and I grabbed some ink, some spray inks, my trimmer adhesives, and like that's all I took. And it was perfect. Like I didn't need all the extra stuff that I usually take. And my photos, of course. Um, but um, because each kit, like some manufacturers have wood veneer where others have um, chipboard where others have letter stickers. And so um, I ended up having enough of a mix um, if I wanted to pull from another kit, I could, or if I worked with like four kits, then I worked, put all the leftovers together. Um, I just, it really worked out just fine. So it kind of goes to prove that packing for crops doesn't have to be complicated. It can, you know, you can really just limit yourself and work within that, those limits. But if you, um, if the, if the kits contain, um, the items that you need, um, then you're, then you're fine and you don't have to, you know, like I usually pack extra wood veneer, I pack extra, um, like a bunch of stamps and you know, I'll just pack a whole bunch of these extras and I really didn't end up needing them. I had plenty of stuff to use. So I will stop chatting. I haven't, um, talked scrapbooking in a while, so it's kind of nice to get back into it. It was, my brain has been so focused on the house and, and, and decorating things and just all that stuff. And, um, it's taken up all my creative energy, but it was nice to take a break and just actually sit down and focus on scrapbooking and focus on my friend and um, it was just a nice a nice little getaway. So to start out, almost all my layouts, I think actually all of them, were scrap lifts from two piece videos. So some Chamel, some of the garden girls, because I wanted to take advantage of their videos while um, they were still up because I'm not for sure how long they're going to be up since they closed um, or they are closing. And so yeah, just I just decided to focus on the free classes that they had on their site, their YouTube videos, and I can't tell you which one's which. Um, I didn't write them down because um, I didn't know for sure if I'd be sharing them or not. So I'll try, I'll just, as long as you know that they're all, um, they're all from 2Ps, um, and hopefully you can find the sketches there um, on their, on their YouTube video if, if they still have them available. Um, so here is one, it's a two-pager. And so I get this little thing in here. Um, there we go. Okay, so this is using um, the My Mind's Eye new lines. Um, and I, I don't have my stuff in front of me, so I don't even remember what they're called, but they're, they're the, newer, um, the newer lines. And like the Ashberry and I um, can't think of the other one. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> and I had these... Um, these uh, overlays were left over from, I think, maybe a Pebbles kit that I had played with previous to, the, to making this layout, and so I ended up using one, two, three, five of those up, and um, just lined up my photos, and then just did some paper piecing. I think this was a Chamel video, and she had done, like, she had, her background was two matching pattern papers, and I didn't have, you know, two of any paper, so I just created my own little background instead. Um... And so here I did a little um, cluster of the drilling card, and I actually this worked out perfect because I had five photos, and so I found this card and was able to label each photo. And these are kind of really detailed photos of this particular place that we were and thing that an event that we were at. And so that was a great way to um, to match the 
number with a photo and explain why I took that picture. And just a little cluster here, some stickers and a die and a chipboard die cut and a brad. And then, and then I did a little bit here at the bottom, and then um, at the top here. That those lines, um, I mix ended up mixing them together. The Ashbury and the other one, what's it called? Market or Market Street? I can't remember now, but. They were perfect for this particular weekend because we went to a Broadway play, um, a traveling Broadway play, Wicked, and the colors were just perfect for all the golds and the deep tones um, because of being in a really old, vintage, uh, beautiful theater and, and stuff. So it just worked out really perfectly for those photos. Okay, and then here's just a one pager, and this one is pretty simple and um, this is also using my mind's eye and I really just did kind of a larger box um, layer there and one photo, one journaling card I used one of the chipboard stickers and then a little um, tab sticker here and just made it, kept it really simple and journaled in this heart here so it was just a picture that I took on our last day of school and it was just a, a page commemorating that so pretty simple okay this is from um, Pink Paisley's I think hello again I believe and um, it's a very bright um, colorful line and um, so I just did two different patterns here and then I used this more neutral ca camera um, paper strip to separate them and then just layered around the photo with some die cuts and um, journaling cards and some borders, a couple of small border stickers and I journaled down here and a couple more of the, the die cuts and just did some little hearts here and another little heart on the sun um, and then I did use some bling um, I totally forgot to pack any bling, so I have, I was able to stop by Target um, on the way and just grab some of their dollar bin bling, and that worked out perfect. So I was all set. So there's that one. And this one is, I want to say this is Pebbles, like Pebbles, I believe. I can't think of what the name of it is, but it's a really cute line, and um, I just used a strip of paper here, and then two photos, and then just kind of um, embellished around the two photos. I used these um, little over small overlays as embellishments, and um, this is a cut-apart sheet from one of the papers, and then just did some stickers and little hearts, um, so the, cl the little clusters all look the same just different phrases that match. I can see that okay. And then I journaled on a card down here. So, and this I think might have been a card from well, I think it was from this line, I'm not for sure, but and then there's these little corner stickers there too. So, there might be a mix into some other products in here. Um, Cuz it later in the trip I start mixing stuff together with if the color scheme works out, so. Okay, here's another two-pager. And, sorry for the glare, guys. Um, so, this one just starts over here and kind of goes this way and then works up over here. Um, I think this is a Chamel sketch, I think, uh, from one of her classes, I believe. And, so here I have two photos and I used an overlay here and then an overlay here and I um, just did some journaling cards and embellishments over here titled up here and then did a little embellishment cluster here and then over here as well and this is using that my mind's eye line again I love there just all the gold that was in this line it was so pretty and it was probably a line I should have gotten two of each because I kept using one side and then just hating that I wasn't able to use the back side of it and I try to cut out when I get it when I can but one of the um, ephemeras was this music paper and that was perfect since we were going to a musical um, so 
a lot just a lot of the embellishments worked really well with the theme of going to a you know going to a Broadway musical like the ticket and the bows and so there we go. It's nice to kind of get away from the pink girly stuff every once in a while. It's still girly, but it's a little bit more sophisticated. Um, so here's this one. Again, I think that this is uh Oh, this is actually basic gray. Um, their newer one. I can't think of what it's called either. And this might be mixed in with some pebbles as well. This might be a good mix of products. Um, this one turned out really fun just because I love the chevron paper and then mix in with this dark gray that actually shows up in the chevron paper as well. It's like mixing darker neutrals with brighter with brighter colors. <laughs> Always has a neat look for for my taste. And so I just um, layered a couple different ones there and then did some journaling cards and, and tags over here and then journaled. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then did some die cuts and brads and just some fun embellishing. Okay, so there's that one. And another one. And this one is pretty simple. I just did the three photos and then a four by six card and then I journaled and embellished up here and did a little embellishing down here and just used two strips of paper just to add some fun color to it and it was perfect because it followed the theme of the paper which they were painting rocks with markers or coloring rocks with markers. Um, they, they call it painting rocks so um, I journaled in this card here and that's in a pocket and Again, another really simple, easy to put together layout that just turned out really cute. So, well, I think. <laughs> Only because it's my daughter's in the pictures, right? So, then there's this one, back to the My Mind's Eye. And this one, I, I very rarely use these bold of patterns for my full background, but um, I just thought that it worked really well with the colors in the photo, and I was able to kind of mat some other. Um, pieces of paper behind to kind of separate the photo from the busyness of the background and just um, again just did some embellishing there's a doily that I cut in half and then um, I tried to get that gold in the three different places there's a little gold paper down here um, and I used some gold washi and then the title down here and journaling down here so um, There's a heart die cut right there. And I finally figured out with these um, that have the pins, if you do, if you layer two pop dots on each side, it becomes tall enough and sturdy enough to use as a flare. And so I was happy to, I've been kind of just putting those away because I didn't like how they looked on the page and I couldn't figure out how to adhere them without being like wobbly and making noise and that worked out really well. So. Okay, and then this is a Teresa Collins line, and it's actually, um, I think it's, yeah, Tell Your Story line, I think is what it's called, and it's, I think, a, maybe a year old. It's, I mean, it's not real super new, but I've had it, um, I haven't, I hadn't used it at all. Um, the color scheme worked perfectly with my nephew's wedding, and so I got most of those photos um, scrapbooked with this paper line, and just um, love that it worked really well together. So here's the first one, and here I just use a whole bunch of the border strips and some pieces of um, strips of paper um, up here as well. And then they have these little flashcards. Um, use that, and then just um, did the title up here. And this was, I think, a pink paisley letter sticker set. Um, so I'd forgotten to pack any kind of letter stickers, so I had to pull from all the kits and and use them from the other paper lines which worked out perfect so uh, so there's that one and this one these were all stickers from the sticker sheet so I just kind of layered them going this way and layered a bunch of papers in the background and that one became pretty easy I love how this one turned out and it looks like something oh Something fell out. I must not have had it glued very well. Um, oops. 
and this was from a sketch, I think a two-piece sketch, and um, this was using a stamp set from Pink Paisley, and I just loved, I just love that look, how that turned out, um, because this gray is also in the line, and I just love how, I love that I used my, the stamps, I only had, I think, two sets with me, and I used them both, um, again, this is where limiting yourself, um, make sure you use your supplies that you have, and, um, you can always use stamps in place of maybe an embellishment you forgot or something, so, um, I was happy to use those. So down here is some strips of paper and some washi. Um, and then here just I layered um, a bunch of the flashcards, mixed in some brads and some stamping, and did these little this little banner down here that obviously needs to be adhered a little bit better. And added in some bling and did this stamping here. And then this one here, Let's see if I can just, just a little bit here so you can see more of the layout. There we go. Um, pretty simple, just kind of did the three clusters, a little cluster up here, a larger cluster here around the photo, and then a little a, a medium-sized cluster down here. Use some border strips and the word stickers and a bunch of the butterflies. Um, just a bunch of layering there of the butterflies and the flashcards. The flashcards I turned into banners and um, there was a die cut, die cut or cut apart sheet so I used a bunch of those for the journaling and there's a bunch of stickers so just I did all the layering of all those items so this and I added in some washi oh there was washi with her kit as well and so that all matched there we go Okay, and this one um, here, I just stacked my photos, and I loved using the silver, these silver border strips because it just added to that elegance of it, of them being wedding pictures. And then I just did a bunch of layering over here and used some more of the butterflies and cards. And I cut that out from one of the pieces of paper and kind of made that part of the journaling. And um, Use some brads and the butterflies. And there. So that one didn't need a whole lot, also because I used a busier background and I was able to chop it up a little bit with having a more subtle. I mean, Chevron's still a busy pattern, but it, it's only, um, you know, the white with the blue, and that was able to kind of separate um, the busyness from the pictures, so, as well as this border strip there. Okay. Oh, high line, I think is what it's called. This is basic gray high line, and I loved this line. Um, it just, I just, it really just was a fun line to play with, so I definitely recommend it. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of basic gray lately just because my style has changed a little bit, and I think they're, they're still basic gray, but they've, they've kind of, um, maybe updated their style a little bit, but you can still tell that they're basic gray. Um, but I just really, really, really like this line, and, um, this one here, I just did two larger layers and then a strip and then just did my three clusters of, clusters of embellishment and, um, I did some stamping there and just a bunch of stuff from the ephemera packs and sticker sheets and like that. They had some, um, see-through embellishments and tags and stuff. So, there's that one. And we're back to the Teresa Collins. I must have just gotten it mixed around there. Here's, I think, maybe my last one from Teresa Collins from the wedding. And I love how this one turned out um, because it was when they came out and it was happy and it was, you know, there's bubbles and clapping and and um, I wanted just to kind of portray that in a layout with just kind of a splatter of, of embellishments and different things. And so I just layered a bunch of stuff and have butterflies going everywhere. And I made sure I got some of the silver glitter in there. And I stamped and just had a lot of fun with this layout. So um, I'll kind of go try to show some detail here. Um, I layered the cards mixed with some of the pattern papers. Um, added in a bunch of those little flash cards and some, and some gold washi 
just because he had more of like of a tan goldish suit and that went well so there's that one and back to basic gray here's this one here and this one was just one photo and just kind of embellished around it. I did kind of the, the uh, was it the L, so the big strip here, border strip, and then a strip this way, and then just embellished this way here. And then I did do a little bit of embellishing up in the corner just for fun. And um, let's see, these are really cute. These were like little. Um, see through like frames and I just kind of used them use this one to frame the sweetness um, I can't I'm sorry I can't think of the words I need to <laughs> describe these like the acetate yeah that's what I'm looking for um, and that one was just really pretty I just really like the black with the bright colors I think that's what I, I liked most about this line it was just really was pretty so and another two pager here and these colors there's a lot of colors in this line and they were bright yet yeah, they were toned down a little bit and so um, it just worked for a variety of different things and here I kind of chose some of the more brighter colors because it was a birthday event and I just layered all the photos I cropped them so that I could fit them all in and um, then just kind of layered around um, with, with pattern paper and a bunch of the die cuts and these little frames and stickers. I just had a lot of fun with it. There's some more over here um, and then some over here as well. So that one just turned out really fun and I got a lot of pictures documented in one layout there or one um, spread. So. And this one here. Um, I liked this wood grain background because she was climbing a rock wall, and I thought that that kind of the whole nature theme um, went well together. And I just offset the two photos, and I think this was also a Chamel scrap lift. Um, and I just embellished like crazy around the two photos. I'm kind of going this way down, and um, just had a lot of fun with this one too. I really liked this paper line. I was surprised at how much, how easy it was to use for pictures that I had. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Okay. And this one. Um, again, another really busy background layout. I must have just been open to doing that this time around. Um, but I um, layered the photo, or I matted the photo on like white, just to kind of separate it from the busyness, and embellished around it and called it good. But the pictures, one, this is very summery, very beachy, and the colors, um, the, the darker pinks, lighter pinks, the yellows and oranges all come, um, are all in this picture, and I decided that, that worked really well. Um, and then I used a bigger strip of paper, here and then just kind of embellished around. Very simple. Again, this you know could take maybe 10 minutes. Just pop the photo down and embellish around it and call it good. So I love this one. This is using. You no, know, I think this is also using basic gray, but I just used really subtle patterns and stuck to the color scheme of the green and pink and white for the photos and um, here I just layered some papers out of the photos they are not cro or they are not matted and then I did a bunch of stamping and some bling usage again that was from like the dollar bin from Target out of some chipboard and then I splattered really sloppily with some um, Heidi Swap black spray mist and um, Love how that one turned out. So, there's that one. And my last one is still from the Basic Gray Highline. And this one I just um, had two lar larger layers, um, kind of a white and black, like more of a, or a dark gray and neutral with a, a busier pattern, um, solid color. And um, just did my photos, matted them, and then embellished this way and then did a little cluster up here and some down here um, and again just my normal style just lots of layering and um, adding in flat 
pieces, with dimensional pieces, with some pieces that um, come off the page, like the butterfly. There's some acetate pieces and some brads. Um, so there's that one. So that is it, you guys. Um, gosh, it ended up being a long video, but there's a, I think there were 25-ish layouts there, or pages there, I think. Um, so I appreciate um, you guys watching, and I'm sorry I've been absent. I cannot wait to get into the new house fully and completely. I think in the next two weeks we're going to be there. And then um, from there on, I don't know how long it's going to be till I get my scrapbook room figured out. Um, but I just can't wait to get back in into, you know, the, the scrapbooking thing and the kits and my videos and um, getting a bunch of stuff done. So I look forward to being back. But until then, um, happy scrapping. And um, I'll see you guys soon. I'll keep watching you guys and getting inspiration and saving that inspiration up for when I can actually sit down again and actually get some scrapbooking done. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.